My, my name is Ole, and I'm from Denmark. I am the leader of um, what we call social psychiatric work. Um, I have a place in Denmark with people who is mentally ill or abusing drugs or alcohol. Uh, and I have people working on the streets, making relations with homeless people, with people who have has uh, problems with alcohol or drugs, or just mentally ill. Um, that's what I do in Denmark. Thirty years with mentally ill people and people who is convicted to medical care, uh, and now for f 16 years I, ago I started this with funds from the government, and it's growing and growing. And from me starting for 16 years alo uh, ago, I was alone, and now we are about 16 people employed, uh, and we have a big place, 15 residents, and we have about. 30 people coming in every day and then we have our uh, registered known people we work with is about 120 people so, um, so we have a lot of things to do and it's growing it's, it's, really, it's really growing Lots of people come to that island because it's a very beautiful island and um, there is a freedom there who says you can grow your um, flowers in the backyard without the police coming and harvest it all the time. Um, so people who is old, that I mean homeless people who they are not very old when they are old. They are not many years when they are old. They come to this island because they cannot live on the um, streets anymore. And the housing is very cheap. If people want to live together, two or three guys, they can have a house with a big garden and, and uh, grow whatever they smoke in the backyard. And lots of people do that. And of course, when people think they come to that island, they will be able to manage themselves. And that is not always the reality and that's why we are so busy because when they get mentally ill or whatever uh, we have to step in and help them and we do that we go to people and say hey I don't want to stop your drinking I don't want to stop your smoking I just want to tell you that if you need me I will help you so just call us and we will leave a message for them a little card or whatever and some will call and some will not call and we go there again and say, hey, you're in trouble. The surroundings don't like your attitude and, and uh, we, want you, we want to help you change it. Or if the police have trouble with some person because they're mentally ill, they call me and say, hey, we need your experience because we don't know how to tackle this situation. So I go and I say, well, I have a couple of beers in the car. You want to come and uh, you can drink a couple of beer because we have to go to the um, psychiatric hospital. Ah! And we talk a little bit and they go into the car and I drive them to the psychiatric hospital and put them in the hospital. Because I have, as a leader, I have the power to say, you can go to the psychiatric hospital. And I can go and say, you have to take him. So I can deliver people to the psychiatrist, to the mentally ill institution or whatever we should call it. And people will get help. And the hospital will call me and say, hey, we cannot do any more. Will you come and pick him up again? And, or he can stay 14 days or he can, 
he has to stay a week or they change the medicine they'll give people medicine and uh, they call me again and we'll take him home came up with that project that I will raise money for the missing teeth and the missing glasses because in Denmark that's, that is a common thing you get help to if people want to make the teeth we can do that for very small money because the government support it and uh, glasses is if you are on, on pension uh, you can get a lot of money in help for them so you just pay a little bit of it so Denmark has as I see it, the best social system in the world. You don't have to have an insurance. You have free doctors, you have free hospitals. And um, and if you wait for a surgery for your leg or your back or your arm, you just have to wait three weeks. And if, you, if they can't take you in three weeks, they will send you to a private hospital. And the government pays. very beautiful the way people treat homeless people in this camp giving them food and everything well we better give them teeth so they can chew the food and they can bite back and they can smile and when you smile when you can smile because you have the teeth life gets a little bit easier you know, that, that's what I was thinking so I thought well let me go to camp of hope because um, that's everybody talks about the freedom behind the fence so, so let me see what that is. So I will take this back to Denmark and try to raise some money. Go to conferences and say, hey, I will talk, I will tell you stories, but you have to pay me because this money is going to Camp of Hope in New Mexico.